Now at six, while Congress remains in a funding stalemate, it's back to work for Nebraska lawmakers as they prepare to deal with property taxes and other key issues. More than a dozen new state senators took the oath as they kicked off this year's session at the unicameral. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Today it was about introductions, formalities, and committee assignments, but soon lawmakers will be at odds over how much homes, farms, and business owners should pay the state and whether they will get any tax relief. Reporter John Kipper spent the day in the state capitol and brings us the latest. For years, when senators come to Lincoln to reconvene another session at the state legislature, the number one topic on the agenda is property tax reform. But seemingly, no broad changes ever get done. But is this finally the year when it happens? Last year, three separate proposals aimed at lowering property taxes were introduced. The lawmakers were unable to compromise around one of them. People have different ideas of what long-lasting property tax relief should look like. State Senator Carol Blood of Bellevue says legislators in all Nebraskans should consider what they can pay a little more for in order to give the state meaningful relief. There are a few things that, again, would not hurt the average Nebraskan that we may want to raise taxes on. Um, I'm not a big proponent of raising taxes, but there's a big imbalance, and that's why what we have going on is going on. Do each of you solemnly swear... A fresh group of legislatures could also shake things up. One of the new senators is Megan Hunt of Omaha. She's optimistic that the unicameral can play nice and maybe even compromise on big issues like property taxes. So I think that we're gonna to move to a more moderate place in the body. I'm really in, enthused and I'm really encouraged by all the people in our freshman class and I think we're gonna be able to work together to make progress. And if you're frustrated about nothing getting done in Lincoln, Blood says let her hear about it and show up to hearings. I want phone calls, I want emails. I don't want special interests involved. I want to hear from the citizens who, who work and live and play in Nebraska. It's one thing to complain on social media, it's another thing to show up in person. Now any solution on property tax reform that the state legislature is able to find is also likely going to have to get the support of Governor Pete Ricketts, who since he's been governor four years ago has made property tax reform his biggest priority. In Lincoln, John Kipper, 3 News Now.